Reagents have a multitude of functions when it comes to chemical reactions or processes. Their purpose generally is to initiate a chemical reaction between reagents while not being part of the formation of the product itself. Sometimes, reagents are also used to determine if a certain product is produced. They can be of many forms and structures. Some types of reagents are pure substances and some are compounds or mixtures. They usually come in the form of inorganic chemicals and sometimes made organic molecular structures. Some reagents can be used for multiple kinds of reactions while others tend to be specific and serve their purpose for a certain reaction only. There are types of reagents that are commonly used in laboratories. One example is hydrochloric acid. This acid is very corrosive and has many industrial purposes. It is commonly used to make PVC pipes and polyurethane. In lower concentration, this reagent is used in leather processing, in household cleaning agents, and in building construction. Surprisingly, hydrochloric acid is also used as food additives mostly in artificial food like gelatin, sweeteners, and vegetable oil preservatives. Other purposes include regulation of acidity in some solution, production of organic and inorganic compounds, and steel pickling. One example of types of reagents that are used in laboratories is nitric acid. This acid is also very corrosive and is normally colorless but, if stored in long periods of time, it acquires a yellow color. It is a very strong oxidizer. Since it's a very strong oxidizing agent, the reaction it creates with many organic chemicals tends to be very explosive. Caution must be exercised when handling this reagent. The industrial use of this chemical is also varied. Nitric acid is popularly used in making rocket fuel. It is also being used in semiconductor production as well as an artificially aging pine and maple wood to give it an old waxy look. Another common lab reagent is sulfuric acid. This acid is also very corrosive because of its high acidity. This is also very caustic and has a very powerful dehydrating property. This chemical compound exists not just in our planet but also in Venus and in Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. According to experts, sulfuric acid production can be a very good indicator of how a country is doing because sulfuric acid is one of the most usable reagents in the world. Industrial use of sulfuric acid can be attributed to fertilizer production. They are also used in creating soaps and detergents. These types of reagents are also widely used in paint and in the pharmaceutical industry. Formic acid, also known as methanol acid, is also one of the common types of reagents that can be seen in a laboratory. They occur naturally in ants and also in stems. This reagent is colorless but pungent and can be dissolved in most solvents like water. The main use of formic acid is as an antibacterial and a preservative agent for animal feeds. Another use for this reagent is in leather making process. This reagent is also widely used in production of toilet bowl cleansers. 